go ahead and roll into the please take my money mojo. Please take my money mojo. <laughs> I got all pumped up uh, today when I was uh, doing some Hell Island and Heaven Island uh, symptoms, as you guys know that we like to do. And I realized that kind of the, the Hell Island side of this is thinking our, our clients and customers and prospects are kind of thinking, please get lost, right? So going from please get lost to please take my money. And even on the mojo uh, moments today, I kind of saw a little bit of what we're going to be talking about today. So very often how I, I plan these trainings, I look at what you guys are going through. I look at what you guys are doing, even secretively. I'm always stocking what you guys are doing. Can, how can I be the most helpful for you guys? And it's really getting more to having people say, please take my money. And I really want to bring out, if somebody gave me 15 minutes to spend with somebody and said, in 15 minutes, give them the biggest breakthrough, the biggest uh, aha you can, that they could go out and integrate into their lives and make the biggest money difference, what would that be? And it would be understanding that you are the director of not only your focus, but other people's focus. Now, I'm not getting all here into positive thinking or anything like that. It's very, very uh, workable and use it. It's a breakthrough you can make with one major shift on where you put your focus and where you put your your uh, prospect and your client's focus within the marketing or within the sales process. So I'm going to use lots of examples here. In a sense, you know, how many of you guys have probably have seen a magician work, right? And you kind of know that what the wand is for is to direct your attention where he wants your attention, right? Now, a lot of times the magician is doing it for misdirection. We're not using it for that purpose. But we're doing the same thing in our copy, uh, if we're talking to people in a sales conversation, uh, in a private message. We're always redirecting their focus and their attention. So there's two places I want to focus on. Where is our focus at? And then where is their focus at? And we want to be aware of both of these. So Let's talk about your shift first. So very, very often we are in this space where our focus is, and, and I, want, I want to say this with love because we're human beings, right? But we come at our shift with our product. Our, our focus a lot of times is on our products. What are we doing? The problem with this is that hawking our product day after day minute after minute, doesn't make us feel good. It just doesn't light us up. Why? Because our purpose <laughs> on earth 